Welcome to section 3.3, inverse trig derivatives. So our objective today is to differentiate inverse sine of x and inverse tangent of x. All right, today we're going to focus on the derivatives of arc sine of x, or we call it sine inverse of x, and tangent inverse x. We're going to look at these two because when you take your AP exam, these are the two that they primarily use when I was with my instructor uh, last summer, or two summers ago. She has read for the AP exam, and these are the only two she's ever seen used on the exam. So hopefully that stays that way. So we're going to use arc sine of x. So look at the purple box here. We have the derivative of sine inverse of u is 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared times the derivative of u with respect to x. So you, it could just be x in there, it could be, u could be like x plus 4, it could be x squared plus minus 7. The u could be a bunch of different things when we have compositions. So we do the derivative of this, you'll see on the first one we have y equals the arc sine of 3x, or inverse sine of 3x. So our u is 3x, and like it says in our formula, y prime is 1 over the square root of 1 minus our u, and our u in this case is 3x, so make sure you put it in parentheses, squared. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the u. The derivative of 3x is just 3. We are going to make this a little bit simpler. We're going to have 3 over the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. I am not going to make you rationalize this denominator. You can leave it just like this. So 3 over 1 minus 9x squared in the, in the radical. So the next one we have sine inverse of x over 2. We have y prime is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x over 2 squared and then times the derivative of x over 2, which is 1 half. And again, we're going to make this look a little better. We have 1 over 2 square root, 1 minus x squared over 4. And this is all we need to do. So that is your derivative of sine inverse of x over 2. You will need to know this formula. This is another one we're going to add to your list of things you need to know. So 1 over the square root of 1 minus u squared times the derivative of u. Next one we have is arctangent or tangent inverse x, depending on how it's written. So s of t gives the position of a particle in meters at time t greater than or equal to 0 seconds. Find the velocity of the particle at t equals 4 seconds. So we want to find the velocity, and the velocity requires us to take the derivative because velocity function is the derivative of the position function. So we have v of t, I'm going to write it this way, equals s prime of t equals, using our formula over here, we have 1 over 1 plus u squared, and u is 2t. The u is 2t, the derivative of 2t is just 2. So we're multiplying by 2. So I'm just going to make this look a little better. So v of t is 2 over 1 plus 4t squared. Now it says we want to find out what's happening at t equals 4. We're going to plug in and solve when v of 4. So we have 2 over 1 plus 4 times 4 squared. And when you do this, you get 2 over 1 plus 64, which is 65. This is 2 over 65 meters per second. And that is our solution. So our velocity at 4 seconds is 2 over 65 meters per second. Not going very fast. Now it says find a tangent. Find an equation for the tangent to the graph of y at the point x equals negative 1. The first thing we should do is we need to have a point, and we also need to have a slope. So let's look for our point first, and then we'll do our derivative to find our slope. So when we plug in negative 1 for x, we get 
y equals tangent inverse of negative 1. And when you do this on your calculator, you get negative 0 0.785. So we have a point. We have our function. Let's do our derivative now so we can find our slope. So dy dx is using our function formula. If you remember, it's 1 over 1 plus u squared du dx. That's how we find the tangent inverse. So 1 over 1 plus x squared. And the derivative of x is just 1. And then we have dy dx. I'm just going to make this look a little better. 1 over 1 plus x squared. And we want to find out what's going on at negative 1. We're going to find out the slope. At negative 1 is 1 over 1 plus negative 1 squared. Negative 1 squared is 1, so we have 1 over 1 plus 1, which is 1 half. We now have our slope. We have a point. Our point is negative 1, negative 0 0.785. And so we can write our tangent line, y equals our y-coordinate, negative 0 0.785. Our slope is 1 half, and x minus a negative 1, which is x plus 1. If you would want to put this in slope-intercept, you would get y equals 1 half x minus 0 0.285. You do not need to put them in slope-intercept. You can leave them in point-slope. All right, so that was finding the tangent line to a inverse tangent function. So here's your homework for today. That is all for section 3.3. The two formulas you need to know and memorize are in your purple and green box here on this slide. So make sure you work on memorizing these. I will expect you to know them as we move forward, especially when we get to the test and the quiz. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.